welcome back to the channel and in today's video I'm going to be telling you guys how my all-wheel drive Golf R is from wheel drive. Now most of you who own Mark 7 Golf R's you already know that they have a common fault with the Haldex pump. Now for those of you who don't know or you're thinking of getting a Mark 7 R this information will really help you out or it may change your mind and you might buy a GTI instead which I don't think that should be the case because although the fault is common it's not that bad you don't have to buy a Mark 7 or so I'm gonna start by telling you guys that VW recommend that you change your Haldex oil at every 30,000 miles now I think this is too late and a lot of other people think it's too late because people who haven't even done 20,000 miles have experienced Haldex pump issues. So in my experience 30,000 miles is way too late. Now I change my Haldex oil every 5,000 miles along with the engine oil. Now my car is on 55,000 miles so as far as a Haldex pump goes that's good going in itself and you can see why it's held up for so long is because of the regular maintenance. So the regular maintenance has given me a few more thousand miles. There's no guarantee on when your Haldex pump is going to pack in but in my case my all-wheel drive Golf R is now front-wheel drive and I'm thinking to myself why I regular maintain it. I drop the oil all the time every 5,000 miles which is a lot because VW recommend you do this every 30,000 miles so that means I change my Haldex oil six times before VW would even recommend to change it once now you see where I'm going now so if you did change it every 30,000 miles your Haldex pump is gonna pack in pretty soon now I know every 5,000 miles is a bit excessive, there's, I don't think there's any need really, but because I'm there changing my engine oil, I may as well give the Haldex pump a good service as well. So I've just pulled in now and I'm going to redo this and it explains what happens when you've got a Haldex pump problem. This will explain it far better than I can. So it says, the pump precharges the oil inside the all-wheel drive assembly to allow the coupling to engage faster. This part is prone to failure on higher mileage cars or if regular maintenance isn't performed. If your pump is faulty, you may experience loss of engine power to the rear wheels due to the pump becoming contaminated with old fluid and no longer activating. Replace yours today to restore the all-wheel drive and comfort in your ride. Now this explains it perfectly, this is exactly what this car is doing. Now this part here where it says regular maintenance not performed, like I was just telling you guys I maintain this pretty much too often let's be honest but it it's gonna be in good condition if I change the Haldex oil every 5,000 miles that means that the Haldex pump should be in good condition right then this bit says on higher mileage cars my car is on 55,000 miles now so for a Haldex pump that is higher mileage although I maintain the Haldex pump on the regular because of the mileage it just decided to pack in now some people on the internet have Haldex pump problems sooner than others. I've read that somebody's pump has failed on 19,000 miles which in that case I'm sure your Golf R is going to be under warranty then so maybe they can cover it that way. Then other people have failed at 40,000 miles, some people have failed at like me 55,000 miles so there's no telling when it's going to pack in but because I maintain mine regular is packed in on the higher mileage side of things. In the past I have had wheel spin issues with the Golf R but we've dropped the oil, cleaned the filter, fresh oil back in there, 
give it a good service and then it's been totally fine, it's totally fixed it. But in this case, I have lost most power to the back wheels and it just wheel spins, it's driving as if it's a front wheel drive car. And if I do leave the traction on, it'll just cut power and wheel spin. So, this is a major Haldex problem and I'll go ahead and show you guys now. This is me doing so-called launch, it's not very good, it does bog out. I have got a Haldex problem and it does wheel spin. So, and the other thing, it does wheel hop a lot being front wheel driving all now. So I'll go ahead and put that on screen right now. So like you guys just saw, it's wheel spinning and wheel hopping. And now I'm gonna show you a video of the traction like just flashing away. This is with the traction on. Now, I'm gonna go ahead, go for a drive, and show you guys exactly what I mean. So I'm in second gear now. And that noise you hear is the power cutting. That's the sound of the traction I'm trying to take over because my front wheels are losing grip. And like you just saw in that video, my traction light goes crazy. Now that was a second gear pull and I'm gonna go ahead and do it again. So it's just wheel spinning. Even though the traction control is on, it's coming in, it's interfering because the front wheels are slipping. There's hardly any drive to the rear. This car is nowhere near as fast as it should be now because of the power cutting. It is really annoying. I'm gonna go ahead and turn traction off. Right now, I'm in second gear again. Traction control is off. And there it is. Nothing but wheel spin. That was a Golf R front wheel drive. It's ridiculous. So this time, I'm gonna go ahead, put in third gear. front wheel drive, all wheel drive. It's really annoying, the car is no fun to drive. I don't really want to drive it hard because, as you guys know, that can cause even more problems. So, yeah, if you're experiencing any sort of Haldex issues like I am, more than likely, your Haldex pump has failed and I can't even give sort of a mileage bracket because it's just so unpredictable. It could go, if you're on 15,000 miles, 8,000 miles, you know, 80,000 miles, 90,000 miles, 100,000 miles, it could go whenever and that is one of the major problems that the Golf R has, Haldex pump problems coolant problems, yeah, they tend to leak coolant, but that was in another video. Have got a new Haldex pump, it does have two years warranty on it, which is a good thing. I'm waiting on the genuine Haldex VW oil, because I don't really want to put cheaper oil in it. I'll 
go ahead and I'll fit that this week and I'll record it. I'll try my best to explain it all to you guys and to make it as understandable as possible. So expect to see that video soon. I will be changing the Haldex pump and I'll be giving you prices and letting you guys know where to buy it from and obviously the correct pump, the correct oil. I'll leave links in the description and everything. Now I just want to put across that this is a Mark 7 Golfer. I know most of you know but I always get the odd comment and they ask a question and it's... I, I wonder... Did they even watch the video? So, if you have made it this far and you didn't really understand, this is a Mark 7 Golfer, not a Mark 6. Or it's not an R32, Mark 5 or 4. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed this video. Hopefully you've all understood and don't forget to subscribe for weekly Mark 7 content. Head over to Instagram, R50 Motive. We post every single day. If you want your car to be featured on the page, be sure to direct message me or R50 Motive. And thank you all for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Cheers.